Hi folks, uh, right, so uh, second one for you today, Saturday morning, quite bright, a bit of cloud, but a lovely day really. Uh, I've just put a, uh, a coat of wet of, of water on this sheet of £90 Saunders Waterford paper, wonderful paper. Uh, it might be thin, but it stretches, look. As the water soaks in, just re give it a gentle tug. Down there, maybe. There we are. You, you don't want to soak the paper so that the water's running down the sheet. This is about 30 degree angle. I could check it. I don't to... Oops. Hair, hair dryer cable down here. Get out of the way. There's my 30 degree angle. Look at that. All the ink work on that. That was used in my years as a draftsman. Um, so that should be, I guess, guesswork. 30 degrees. It's probably about 28 degrees. But, but I've had that for the best part of. Over 50 years, believe it or not, now with the old school drafting drawing has uh, gone there, it's all computer aided design, but, but I got out of the trade for years and years ago, long before CAD. Right, you don't need CAD, CAD to lay a carpet. Now, you might think that's mundane, but it took me all over Europe for myself. Right, so uh, we've got a nice, oops, I want to uh, use some real sienna, I nearly forgot that. And you can see where it's drying already. Just give it a bit of a, a wet, so it's, this just warms it up, warms the background colour up. It all fades, so you make allowance for that. And this is watercolour, of course. Before we get back to my beloved oil. Okay, there we go. So a nice bit of uh, blue. Now if you labour this, it will go a bit green. Uh, but while you put it in, just there. Uh, now we're going to put some bit of water in. Let's just, oh, we might not. I have a bit of clouds, a bit of red, light red. Okay, that's, that's the sky. <coughs> now, I'm going to dry that. Now, I don't... Well, I'll, I'll dry it. I'll, I'll mute you. Right, okay. Now, you can see what's happened to the sky and the foreground here. Uh, I've used quite a good uh, coat of uh, blue, ultramarine blue, at the top. And, but I've left a lot of it un unpainted apart from the yellow ochre, not yellow ochre, raw sienna. And I've just put this bit of cloud in. And I like that. I, like, I love painting, painting uh, uh, skies like this where, where you can exploit the lovely paper for the softness. Uh, I think if I ever went back to painting straight onto dry paper, I think I'd make a right mess. But it will soon take time to, a uh, while to, soon, uh, what am I talking about? Uh, right, now let's get a bit of background, a bit of a Scottish feel for this one. I'm not copying any reference material, but we won't 
bit of a nice bit of mountainy, reddy, bluey. Come on, come up here. Got a bit of a ochre in there. Got some foothills. Then we got some uh, burnt sienna. It's a little bit dirty at the moment. And then we'll get a bit of yellow with a bit of Payne's grey. Bit of gamboge that I tend to use for the moment. I've got, I've got it on the somebody gave it gave me a load of paints and I'm just using them up. So we've got several planes there now. And here we'll put in a bit of bit of foreground. So you need a bit of thick, thick paint for that. See how flat the paper is? Change the colours. to try and scrape that but I just want to get this hard stuff in first and we'll come down with a let's have a heavier one here so a lock Block. Some rocks. You can overdo this, so get some sort of reflection. Nice ones down here. I'm not saying that all locks in Scotland are, are rocky, <coughs> just some wine is. Okay, uh, that's drying quite nicely there, but I need to get a bit more counter change in there. So there's a bit of dark, paints grey, and It's all about counter changing. Now, get the medium pink. I'm going to put in some greeny. Too much water. When you use the hake, when I first started on this, uh, this channel, uh, 
It's about nine years ago. Uh, as far as I know, there were only two hate painters. The guy was Stephen Cronin, who started his channel about six years before I did. Um, we all I found Ron Ranson quite early on. Uh, we were the only two hate painters that I know of. Get some nice colour in here. Blue red, blue, 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 blue grey, blue yellow. Could put in some pines. So let's have a, let's have a the old pine. Oh, so easy. It's got a little bit feathery there at the edge. We just light up a bit of that with some red. Bit of that so background in here. Uh, just touch. We'll put that to paint. We'll get that nice reflect. Well, hopefully, nice reflection. I'll probably have to take out a bit of that, but uh, 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 it's still a bit, uh, bit damp. So where can we go? Still haven't got my screen back on YouTube. I can't. I'm the only one who can't see my videos. But my, my daughter was here, she's coming back. They've all gone to Costco shopping. Uh, now we, we want some dark bits in, in there, dark green now. Too much water on the brush. It's good fun, isn't it? Just 
put a little bit of a shadow in for these, some of these rocks. Oh, let's put a bit of, bit of heather, heather in. Oh, no, it won't show. Uh, maybe a bit of uh, stuff over the background there, though. That's a uh, paint's grey, bit of blue. Uh, we'll go. That's that's not dry, is it? No. This is why I know how to do pines. Uh, I should use more of my uh, three quarter inch flats. That. Let's just see if we can get away with it. Yes. Yes. Well, give it a wet. I'll just have a swig of my tea. Oops, okay, that one down a bit. Going down over the hill. Uh, got a bit of deciduous stuff in there as well. Use faint glass or sort of that. Probably overdoing this, but uh, I was going to do deciduous, but I've changed my mind. Lost it around about there. Just can't have to change in there. Okay, well, I don't think I can do much in there now.
It's catching a bit of light. Uh, right, now with a clean brush, clean, shake. So I'm shaking over a, a mat underneath my chair on the carpet tile. Let's just do a bit of, bit of that. Right, I don't want to do any more than that. No, I won't use that brush to sign. I will uh, use a pen. Pen? Oh, not that one. A very, very th thick line. Amazing, isn't it? I used it about 45 minutes ago. Ah, oh, here it is. Brush, right. I've done the mirror. Brush. Come on, brush. Oh, here it is. No, it's not. This is a very fine one. There we are. It's Frank Clark's one. and we'll have a look at it and I'll photograph it and I know I can't see the videos on my black screen I think it all happened when I, I cancelled an upload uh, uh, an edit on the Windows Movie Make Mo Windows Video Editor the new one which is very good um, I cancelled it it was taking so long that I uploaded it again, and I think that's where the problem started. But I don't know, not for sure. That's a big mount on just about covers up. Oh, there we are. It just come out a bit. There you go. I hope you like that one. Quite a simple little one. The, the background was. We can see what I did. I, I used quite a few colours in that one, funny enough. Um, just this uh, ridge of pines and just some nice, just, I don't know, burnt grass. And, uh, and that, I won't, I won't interfere with this anymore. So I hope you like this one, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.